All right, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. To do this. All the videos today are about beer bug. It, it's it's ridiculous, but let's jump into it. So, who spreads false uh, Chinese government propaganda regarding beer bug, claiming it was not contagious among humans? So, the World Health, uh, the World Health Organization, who praised Beijing's response to the beer bug in line with Chinese propagandists at one point denying human-to-human -human transmissions was taking place as the deadly and highly congested disease spiraled out of control inside the communist country. The Twitter messages from January and February show that the United Nations body who's spreading Chinese propaganda health officials detected the first case in the beer bug on November 17th in Wuhan, China. Communist officials in China hid the extent of the bug outbreak during the early stages of the epidemic, jailing and sentencing whistleblowers, a move that allowed the virus to again a fir to gain a firm hold. The ruling Communist Party, however, has halted the recent slowdown of the outbreak as signs of the superiority of its authoritarian political system. Mind you, how many people are dead? A study published earlier this month by the University of Southampton determined that China could have prevented 95% of the of the infection plaguing the globe if Beijing had listened to doctors whistleblowers in Wuhan about the seriousness of the disease instead of silencing and punishing them for speaking out. At critical moments, officials close to put a secrecy and an order ahead of the openly confronted the growing crisis to avoid public alarm and embarrassment, the New York Times acknowledged in early February. China had refused to apologise for its mishandling of the outbreak. On January 14th, the day before the, the first case reached the United States, uh, Wuhan uh, flew Wuhan to Seattle, Washington, the WHO denied that the disease was spread through human to human transition. Preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of the beer bug identified in Wuhan, the WHO wrote on Twitter. It took the WHO a few days to finally concede to, to, on Twitter that person-to-person -person transmission was indeed possible, but it continued to downplay the threat for several days. So, on February the 4th, the UN body cast doubt on assertions that the asymptomatic pers a person infected by the, the bird bug could transmit the disease. Although corona had been traced to an animal market in Wuhan by late January, the WHO claimed in early February that it did not know the source of the outbreak. As of February the 11th, WHO was still casting doubt on assertions of the virus originated from animals in China. On February the 14th, the WHO tweeted that the body's director, uh, Dr. Taylor Andorm Ajiz, had pushed back against critics who denounced him for condemning China's response. Well, like I say, it's just literally time after time after time, the WHO has literally pushed this propagandist point of view. You know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's constantly doing it and this is where like obviously some of you guys know there is a, a a friend of mine who has a group that is talking about this beer bug he's regularly came into my discord channel and decided to commandeer my streams which is why i locked the streams down now for the moment um but look at the end of the day he's writing about one thing the who the the who going through and talking about this this beer bug have literally just believed everything China has said, followed the China's propagandist line, and you know you, you can't really blame people for going and buying toilet paper when, for example, you know at the end of the day it's literally the who is. People can't believe the news. They can't trust anything that people or the media is saying because it's all communist propaganda from China. So I, I really don't blame people for, you know, getting upset and going out and buying all this toilet paper because at the end of the day, they don't know what to believe.
But guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Um, and, and also, look, at the end of the day, it's funny because people are trying to drag Trump regarding this virus, claiming that, oh my god, it was only in March that he started taking this seriously. Yes, because the CDC, even up until the mid, and including the middle of February at least, was claiming that it was no big deal. But they, obviously they'll leave that part out, because Trump is bad, Orange Man bad. I might do a response to that video. There's a lawyer, Legal Eagles, he's talked about Trump and underprepared US, and the whole thing just reeks of a partisan view, even though he was claiming to be non-partisan in it. Um, he, he literally said he was going to be critical but objective. Um, but, you know, yeah, guys, I might go through and do a breakdown video of that tomorrow. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below if you'd like to see that. Um, obviously, I have to be careful because he is a lawyer. Um, but, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, obviously, I'll see you in the next Demise Sides video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.